the gospel drive and reaching your day God's way with Fifi Forsen. Breaking news, everybody. The golden voice of gospel Fifi Forsen is back on air with the biggest, bestest gospel show from Africa to the world. The gospel drive and reaching your day God's way with Fifi Forsen. All across the world. Thank you. Gospel Drive with Christian Centric Guy, Fifi Forsen, promises to enrich your day God's way every day. I love Daddy because he's funny, he tells jokes. <laughs> I'd rather go hang out with my dad than chill with anybody else. He's like my best friend. The way he takes care of us, his family, how he gives back to his community. When you look at him, you know he's a really good guy, that he has a really good heart. And I think that's why I love him most. For her to say that, that's like, that, 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 that means a lot to me. You know, it means that I'm doing something right, you know, as a parent. I love my dad because he's so nice to me. I love daddy because he loves me. Like I love him more than one time, like I can't pick a number that I love him. Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boy? Love you, boy. Love you too. Man. It's moments where you really find out the things that your kids appreciate about you and that maybe the things that you do with them and the things that are most important to them. I think being a father helps you prioritize what's important. And your kids have a funny way of making sure you know what the important things are. Family is most important. You know, football come and go. Uh, family will last forever. I will never forget this Father's Day, believe me. I will never forget this one. Pops, I love you. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Daddy, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I love you, Daddy. Thanks for being my daddy. Oh, God, it is so wonderful. God bless you, Fifi. God bless you. Papa, today is your day. Enjoy your day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Thank you for 
for protecting Happy Father's Day. That's right. Happy, Happy Father's Day. Day. Hello, everybody. Shouts to you. It's that season of the year where we gather to celebrate our fathers. And so why not? I want to say thank you for joining us here on the Gospel Drive online. It's Father's Day season. And now for this season, my focus is still on Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. You know it, right? Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Honor your father and... Uh, okay, we aren't talking about mamas today. <laughs> They've hardly <had> attend. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on to say, honor them. So honor your father and it shall be well with you and you may live long on earth. Have you noticed all that is attached to honoring your father? It shall be well with you. You will live long on earth. What you're waiting for is the time of the year to make it count. And so, well, today I'm here to provoke you. <laughs> I've got the very best content for you, you know, just to help you celebrate your father. And well, I'm talking about all fathers in your life, your heavenly father, your biological father, your surrogate father, your institutional father, your spiritual father. I mean, once you have the father who has played that fantastic role in your life, well, go on ahead and make sure it counts. And so watch out for the best father's uh, codes coming through. I've got some poetry for you. I've got some emotional short films for you. I've got great music for you. Of course, we'll bring our drive games. Yeah. Watch out for all of that. We've got a praise report also coming through. And we'll laugh out of here. So all together, lovely. We're definitely going to make it count. Fathers, this one is for y'all. And so if you're watching me and you were born by a father, <laughs> I encourage you to call your father and say, tune into the Gospel Drive Online with a Christocentric guy. Fifi falls in today. It's going to be a fantastic edition. All right. So let's kick start officially with an inspirational moment. And why not? Today, you're going to hear those wonderful quotes from fathers, you know, that uh, actually you would want to hear. And so permit me to start a show like this. Make sure you invite everybody. Tell them we are live on TV from the studios of Christocentric Station. My name is Phoebe Folsom, the Christocentric guy. And we'll start off like this. My father is my father. I would not wish for any other. You fit the part altogether. They say that love is spelled T-I-M-E. So thank you for always being with me. You try your best to be there in all occasions. My number one fan in all my competitions. Selfless in putting us above all others. You're our reprieve in a world where selfish matters. You may not have it all. But you have always done your best. And when the storms come, we can rest on you. Your sacrifice showed us the depth of your love and care, marked by the blood, sweat, and tears that you selflessly bear. In you, we are clothed, we're fed, and we rest. We need not worry because you know what is best. In you, we are safe and we don't need to wander. You are the home that we need our great provider. When you say no and I make a reaction, and I stray and go my own direction, your forgiveness is both a hug and a lesson. Your love is entirely without question. Though at times my life feels like a mess, you make ways to turn it for the best. Your strength, your protection, your patience wouldn't falter. You're the refuge we need and no other. You always involve us in your life. And we see it in the way that you cherish our mother, your wife. And because you have influenced me so intentionally, I know and look forward to the person I'll choose to marry. We know that no one is born a father. But you did it by following God, our Heavenly Father. By putting your faith in Jesus and making Him your Lord and Savior. You understood the love of God the Father. But did you imagine its impact on us, your son and your daughter? And we absolutely know why you're able to love us so. Because we see that above all else, 
You love God best, our Father, like no other. The Gospel Drive and reaching your day God's way with Fifi Forsen. Baba. And of course, first and foremost, the biggest thanks goes to the Heavenly Father. Daddy, you two more, Joe. In fact, you three more. <laughs> and that's Judy K for you on that beautiful tune. We're celebrating our fathers today. It's their season, wherever you are. Thank you very much for joining us. Let's make it count. Let's make it count. <laughs> Tell me what are plans to make Daddy proud. Don't tell me, you know, over the years when you try to celebrate him, he's doing hardcore. <laughs> you know what? Make sure that the approach this time is different. How about getting him to shed some tears? You know, like, like, Daddy, thank you. Thank you for all the sacrifices. You know what I mean? 
I've got some quotes I'll be sharing as we carry on with you. I pray that uh, you take out a whole lot from it today. The show today will bless you, even if you're not a father as yet, okay? There's a foundation we are laying, and we are trusting very soon. The narrative will change. Fathers will be honored in a grand style. Let's go quickly into the segment, Beat the Beat. And uh, I feel like announcing that today, whatever you're winning... Is going to daddy. <laughs> yeah, if you get the voucher to go pick up the pack, make sure uh, you send it to daddy, okay? You know, like, yeah. Uh, if you're getting it right, you're getting a pack of uh, plain rice with beef stew or jollof rice, of course, with beef stew. No, with grilled chicken. Well, uh, jollof rice with beef stew. Anyways. <laughs> There are people who actually wouldn't really mind that. And so why not? That's what you be getting. Choose from either of them, get it right, and take it to Daddy and say, Daddy, I just want you to enjoy this for Father's Day. Why not? Okay, so let's go straight and pick up the beat for today. You know the rules, right? I'm going to drop the beat, listen to it attentively, I'll play it twice. When I'm done, you're going to send your answer to me. Send it via the WhatsApp line 0551 300 317. 0551 300 317. Okay, and make sure you send it first. Okay, first come, first. Yeah. Who is getting this special Father's Day uh, edition? Well, uh, if you're ready, and please, if you're sending a message, add your names to it. Very, very important, okay? Your names and perhaps your location. Okay, take one. Take two. Okay, so now you tell me, whose song is this and what's the title? 0551-300-317, 0551-300-317. Let's have it quickly and let's make sure we celebrate whoever gets it. Remember, if you're picking it up, you're picking it up because you're going to bless daddy with it. Remember, it's a special Father's Day celebration going on live on the Christocentric station Gospel Drive Online and coming to your life on your favorite TV channel. Well, are we ready to go? pick up the next segment and obviously this is why i'm going to ask you three questions from the bible we call it a bible knowledge quiz are you ready <laughs> Well, you know what we do? We read the questions together. And so let's quickly go pick up the questions for today. And remember, you're sending the answer to the WhatsApp line 0551 300 317. 0551 300 317. Now, question number one. And today, the questions are all centered around fathers. Okay, so let's let's just get it. Get, get it. Number one. The question reads... My name is Methuselah. My father was a faithful man who walked with God. My father holds a rare distinction in the Bible. He did not die. Instead, God took him away. Select from the following answers the name of my God-fearing father. And well, let's see. Are you going to get in? A. Jacob. B. Moses. C. Enoch and D. Noah. So, which of these names is that God fearing father? A. Jacob, B. Moses, C. Enoch, D. Noah. <laughs> All righty. Crack it, crack it. Let's go. Question number two. Well, the Bible says little about this man except that. Uh, he was a good family man and provided guidance for his children 
and they all grew to be servants of God. Do you know the name of this man? Select from the answers provided below. A. Is it Hosiah? B. Is it Amram? C. Is it Jesse or D. Is it Nimrod? And that's question number two. Let's quickly go to question number three. Final question for today. Bible Knowledge Quiz Gospel Drive Online. And reaching your day God's way even today. Number three reads, This righteous man stands out among fathers in the Bible as a man who clung to God in spite of all the wickedness all around him. He was humble and protective of his family and bravery or bravely uh, carried out the task God assigned him. Well, select from the names below that best describes this righteous man of devotion. Did you get it? I read again. This righteous man stands out among fathers in the Bible as a man who clung to God in spite of all the wickedness all around him. He was humble and protective of his family and bravely carried out the task God assigned him. Select from the names below the, uh, the well, whatever best describes this righteous man of devotion. A. Is it Isaac? B. Is it Abraham? C. Is it Joseph or D. Is it Noah? So A, Isaac, B, Abraham, C, Joseph, and D, Noah. All right. These are the questions. Uh, <laughs> and I hope that you are ready to give me the right answer. Please send your answers to the WhatsApp line 0551-300-317. We need to let your father chill small. Okay. Right, so we're going back to music and I've got the first video clip to share with you. It's quite emotional, but hey, it's all part of uh, appreciating fathers for what they, they do. Okay, I start off with this quick one from uh, Aboji. <laughs> if man no day, if poppy no day, and wait till we get. If man no day, if man no day, how we go as this? Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day. To every man where they fight for their responsibility Happy Father's Day to you Happy Father's Day to you Happy Father's Day To every man where they do everything for the family Who say man no day So who say man no day See, if man no day If poppy no day Till we get. If man no day, if man no day, me day you no go day. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to every man where they fight for their responsibility. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to every man where they do everything for the family. <laughs> to be a man, eh? Now, wow. I'm a man who is 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 a man I have three daughters. Sydney is six years old, Layla will be five years old, and Charlie is seven months old. Oh my gosh, I was, I became a dad at the ripe age of 19. My uh, college sweetheart, who is now my wife, we don't have a lot of outside help, so we heavily depend on each other. I work at night, she works during the day. My wife has to get up earlier for work because her commute is longer. I get the girls ready and take them to school, take care of whatever needs to be taken care of at home, picking up shifts, so leave for work about 2.30, 3 o'clock, get home about midnight, I wake up and do the same thing. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. It is a puzzle. It's an unsolvable puzzle. <laughs> My girls like to dance a lot, and so if I get up and do any type of dance with them, which I always do, that makes them laugh a lot. Uh, 
you get accustomed to being able to function off of a short amount of sleep. A full eight, it's been a while. Break time, breaks, you can get a break. I try to look at everything that they do as an opening to teach them a lesson, everything that they say. And I always question myself immediately, right? Was I too hard? Because I'm the only man, I don't want them to ever have an idea that I can't talk to dad because dad is like, you know, dad. Dad is scary. This is a real a real fear that you, you have. And I'm not saying it's like a fear every day. Kind of a fear every day. <laughs> I mean, you know, think about it. I, what, I, what I mean by that is I think about it daily. <laughs> I like having fun with you every time. And I love the fun things that we do together. I love the fun things that we too do. <laughs> ah, man, y'all messing me up here. I love you too, baby. I love the fun things we do too. I love you, Daddy, because um, we, we just have fun. Um, we just go in the park together. We just play Legos, and I, I love you. You surprised me. When, when we got home, we all, we all, my daddy turned on the music and we all danced. And then we start having a dance party and it's super fun. Yeah, it feels good to have daddies, you know, just shed some tears, you know. Shout still so well pancake for this lovely production. I'm enjoying myself and I'm watching like me and my girl sometimes, you know. Last year I remember I was on radio one day. They came through the studios to celebrate my birthday and what they read just hit me. I mean I was I was emotional. I just couldn't help it. I, I just shed some tears. And I'm hoping that, you know, this season, it would make your father shed some tears of joy, okay? Go on ahead, okay? Call your father, all right? Take that trip if you can, okay? Go and see your father and spend the day with him. I want to share some of the quotes I said I was going to push out quickly with you. These are quotes that has been shared uh, and pretty much come from some of my brothers in the in the whole, uh, what do you call it, uh, media fraternity, yeah. And uh, I want I want, I want for you to just, just cool off, okay? Cool off and, and check this out, okay? Let me start off like this. Uh, you can also all take to my social media timeline if that's fine by you just go ahead quickly and uh drop something maybe it's a shout out to your father who knows i might just be sharing that with with your father here on the gospel driver line coming to your life on the television right so this is how we'll go into it okay beautiful i'll start with lexus bill you know lexus don't you yeah yeah <laughs> and so what does lexus have to share lexus is sending a code out to fathers he says, if there is anything that brings complete joy, it is fatherhood. Take it all in, enjoy the journey, and reciprocate it with unconditional love. That's right. Thank you, Lexus. Check out what uh, Easy sent over. And this is uh, Easy Eli says, let's read it together. Says, well, as a father, you are responsible for molding the character of your children. Uh, not so much by your instructions, but by what you do. As children learn by observing, be the kind of adult you want your children to become and the man you can entrust your daughters with for life. Ah, oh, I like the sound of that one. I'll do this one from Gary Al Smith. Quickly, Gary, what's good? And so Gary throws in one and uh, he says, Listen, buddy, if you want the kiddo to keep a habit, you're probably better off having it as a habit too. They will do what they see you do, not what you say. Okay, Evans Mensah, let's add yes very quickly and then we move on to another segment. Evans, uh, Evans comes through and Evans says, hey, hey, hey. well, every day, uh-huh, every day I learn to be a father. I've never stopped learning. All you can do as a father is learn every day. I want to be better than my father. 
Righty, so well, these are codes uh, I'm sharing with you. Obviously, this will speak to somebody. This will minister to somebody. This will make somebody feel extra special. And this will teach your father something, right? Okay. Where we going next? I want to do music. And this is one of those songs. It said the father's love reggae tunes, right? Yeah. I'm going to do a beautiful reggae tune. When I return, I have a praise report to share. One testimony about this young dude who was a uh, irresponsible father, but he became responsible what really happened after the tune you're gonna hear this one stay with me and hey this is reggae so daddy let's do this <laughs> you're listening to chris eccentric station Try to hide but you can see that you love and protection is all we could feel. You love so hard with arms wide open. You are my rock, you are my mountain. Your sacrifices go unseen. You're such a beautiful human being. You're the gift that keeps on giving. Special one celebrating the fathers. You're my father. God bless all fathers out there. And thank you very much for your contribution. Yeah. Family, let's celebrate the father. Shouts to Wayne Michelle for this beautiful tune. You're my father. Special Father's Day tune. 
Well, it's a good time for me to bring you the praise report. I get ready. You're going to hear about this young man. You know, well, he was into all sorts of stuff, and that was messy. But guess what? The Lord showed him messy. <laughs> and now he's a responsible father. I want you to sit back and allow this uh, to, to minister to you. Well, pretty much it's dedicated to all the fathers who are trying their best, okay? This will inspire you to know that God can help you to be a responsible father once you are committed. You should hear this. Let's go pick it up quickly. I remember scoring goals, and I remember I could hear my dad when I would have the ball. He was the loudest voice on the field every game. I felt like, Dad, he's proud of me. Our relationship is good. Everything is great. Uh, it was just for that hour and a half. Tyler Trotter was an infant when his parents divorced and his dad took custody. It was a strict household, and Tyler spent his childhood fighting for his dad's acceptance. I remember the first time that I brought home a C on my report card. I got a whipping for that, and that was when I learned that average was not going to be acceptable. If I don't perform above average in pretty much everything, things could get difficult for me with regards to the discipline I would face at home. So Tyler began rebelling and smoking pot. By 14, he had left his father's home in a nice Tennessee suburb to stay with his mom living in the projects. He was soon selling and using harder drugs like cocaine and oxycodone. It felt really good. And just feeling good in general was a big deal because I didn't spend a lot of time feeling good. He also worked to be someone he wasn't. The persona that I adopted was one of like a strong, confident, masculine uh, type of guy, the drug dealer. I wanted them to see me and maybe even be intimidated by me because I really didn't want people to see that like deep down inside, I was really this soft, scared little boy. When Tyler was 19, his girlfriend got pregnant and they had a son. For the first time in years, Tyler felt joy. It was like a fulfillment of a life purpose. Like everything stopped. Everything that was going on in life, all the drug dealing, all the, the fake character, everything that was going on stopped while I was just a father to this little boy. I was a daddy, not just a father. They had another child and Tyler felt the only way to provide for them was dealing drugs, but he also kept using. Eventually, the Department of Child Services caught wind of his habits and threatened to take his kids away. I had a drug test that was coming up, and in order to pass a drug test for opiates, which is what I was using, that's also what I was withdrawing from, you had to be clean of them for three days. But I remember on the third day that the withdrawals were so bad, and I remember I had the drugs in my hand, and I was thinking that if I use this today, there's no way that I'm going to pass the drug test. I'm going to lose my kids. Tyler succumbed to his addiction, failed the drug test, and lost his children. And not only did he and his girlfriend break up, his mother kicked him out of the house. At 21, Tyler was a homeless, desperate drug addict. Completely and utterly hopeless. You're, you're not fit to be a father. You're definitely not fit to be a daddy based on evidence. You just need to spend all your time trying to get high because there's no way, there's no other way you're going to remove yourself from this pain. For the next couple of years, he would crash with friends, sell drugs to stay high, and serve several stints in jail. Then in 2011, Tyler was out on probation when he saw a TV show about longtime inmates that made him finally realize he was headed down a path towards life in prison. I'm literally deciding that I'm not going to be able to be a daddy to these kids. They'll be better off without me. And I knew that I didn't want that. So I just kind of said like this prayer, more like a conversation in my head with a very vague God who I wasn't sure that I believed in. It was basically just a Hail Mary. God help me. Through that prayer, Tyler found the courage to enroll in a 12-step program. There, he was encouraged to seek a higher power. It was then Tyler called a man whose life God had changed, his father, who had given his life to Jesus Christ. I was still very candid about this has to be real. And dad said, he is real. 
So I got on my knees and I closed my eyes and I went down a list of everything that I could think of that I had done wrong, both outwardly and inside. I just told him, I'm, I'm sorry that I did these things. And I want a relationship with you. And Jesus, I want you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. Through his new commitment to Christ, Tyler not only conquered his addictions for good, but began to see himself as a cherished child of God. I no longer have to tell people I am an addict because the book that I'm reading now tells me that I'm a literally a new creation. My spirit has been made brand new. A few things have changed since then. Tyler now owns a barber shop where you can book an appointment for a cut and a prayer. He also reconciled with both his parents and even saw his mother come to Christ before she died in early 2020. So seeing what God did in my mother and my father's life was just, it's just a, it's reconciliation, redemption, restoration, repair. Everything that was broken was fixed. My relationship with my father is everything today that it was supposed to be from the beginning. Tyler is now married to Lori and has regained custody of his children. Most of all, he knows that through Jesus Christ, he is good enough. I have that freedom. I have a heavenly father that says, there's nothing that you have done that makes me love you any less. And it was real. Oh, yes, it is real. And I love the fact that now he has reconciled with his father, his biological father, and his heavenly father. You know, there's a scripture in uh, Proverbs chapter 13, 22, where it says, well, a good man leaves inheritance for his children's children. And I am mindful of the fact that, you know, yeah, uh, money and property and all of that is good. But I can promise you, like I had a... Uh, uh, Apostle uh, Randy Impact of Cyber share on radio. He said, you know what? Some years will come when uh, we will not want to live in these brick or even like uh, cemented uh, houses with blocks and everything. We might want to live in glass houses, okay? So, well, things could change. Those buildings that we're trying to leave for our children, those companies, well, we might not even want to work there. We might not even want to live in those houses. But the best inheritance you can leave for your children, for that matter, your children's children, is getting them to know Jesus. Let it sink in. Get them to know Jesus, all right? When they have him as their foundation, on that solid rock they can stand no matter the matter and so well you heard this wonderful testimony especially on this uh you know special season i felt that's what you had to hear he got reconciled with god the father and with his biological father now he's a responsible father and so if you're a father you're watching and you're having issues with just being responsible being there i want you to know that christ jesus can help you if only you will surrender give your heart to him like tyler did and as a prayer way i wouldn't mind praying with you all right let's pray together say heavenly father this moment i thank you for the privilege to have this testimony and be connected to the gospel drive online on this tv channel lord jesus i need help i cannot save myself i want to be a responsible father and i need the grace from you and so jesus Come into my heart this moment as I receive you. Lead me so I will follow you. Help me to walk in your ways. In your precious name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Declare over your life I am safe now. And by God's grace I'm going to be a responsible father. It's a good prayer point. And so why not, if you're connected, you say, Amen. God bless you real good. I'm excited you are here. And today we are just celebrating fathers. We honor you, daddies, and we bless God for your lives. What do you think can pass for D-A-D-D-Y as an acronym? Can we get some adjectives to fill it up? Well, I've got something I'll share before I check out of here. And some more quotes as well to share with you. Let me quickly share this uh, good information with you from Pamone. That's right. And so if you want the very best of outfit, as a word, to look good, feel good, yeah. 
Look sharp, trendy. Well, exquisite is all at Pamoni Clothing. And Pamoni is in Osu on the Oxford Street. Aha. Pamoni. Office wise, Pamoni. Now you want to look cool like that. Gentlemen, this one is for you. Pamone. Well, there you have it. That's Pomoni for you. And I encourage you, if you want to look good and feel good, that's the place to go. Get in touch with them. Let me share a quick contact with you. And please, when you go tell, tell you know what? Father stays around the corner. You might just want to say, Pomoni, please, oh, I want to buy something for my father. They will sort you out, okay? And they'll give you the discount that you deserve. Tell them, Fifi says, this one for Father Z. So they should look sharp, okay? So 0544 for one that's Pomoni clothing uh 0544 7541 for one you can actually follow them on uh instagram well Pomoni underscore gh go and check out all those fantastic outfits they have and look good feel good remember christmas centric station is a 24 hour non-stop radio station online i want to share this quick information when i return there's one more story that pr- probably could put some tears in your eyes but it's fine we are celebrating fathers today <laughs> let's go get it right after this Christocentric Station is an online Christian radio station uh, with the sole vision of sharing Christ with every soul. We do this through our sanctified content. Uh, you can listen via our website, www.christocentric.com, or you can also get our app. We are on social media. Follow us across all our social media platforms. We are on uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok. We're on Twitter and on YouTube at Christocentric Station. Uh, Head over to YouTube now, please, and subscribe to our channel and make sure to share, to comment, and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on our new content. Together, let us promote the kingdom. My name is Derek. I have four boys. My son to tell you, I'm always like, clean up, do your chores, get it clean. You know, you're, you're investing, you're talking, you're teaching, you're training. As a dad, sometimes you can forget, you're just training. You're planting the seed now and you're gonna see it eight years later. I wanna make sure that I'm the father to them that I never had. So it was, I was pretty serious about being a dad. It's interesting, fear drove me in the beginning. So I was overly on everything. No candy, only drink water. You're gonna have those challenging moments, those accountability moments. You know, I'm, I'm raising babies to boys to men. Early on, showing them what support looks like, feels like. Things go not so great, helping you recover quickly. If you could now say something to yourself back then, what would you say? Even though it may not seem like it, they hear you. A lot of times they'll act like they don't even know I'm there. Julian, he's a senior and I went to his football game and I was trying to get there right before halftime so we could walk out, it was senior night. And I, I missed it. I, the traffic hit and I couldn't get there. And uh, later we talked to him and I apologized. He was like, it's okay. He's like, yeah. He's like, I kept looking up, but I didn't know where you were. I didn't see. And just that let me know. Even though they don't say thanks for coming or, you know, I'm glad you're there. They're not going to ever say that. But, you know, hearing that lets me know like, man, things are off if I'm not there. say thank you for showing me like how to be a man through like my teenage years because I know it's been hard but thank you thank you for supporting me at my football games and throughout my life it means a lot I like to thank you for bringing me into this world as your son as I was getting older 
You're building me into a man. I'd like to thank you for that. You guys are becoming good men. Yeah. You're more than welcome. Uh, man. Mm. Do you hear that a lot? No. There's a lot of things that I want to accomplish. Um, a lot of things that I want to do, but uh, I've always known that my biggest contribution to this world would be you. Uh, it means so much that you said that to me. Hit me as well. Ooh. Oh. You know what? Let's appreciate our fathers today. Yeah. Let them know that they've done well. Encourage them. And mothers, encourage your children to celebrate their daddy. Yeah. And if you're holding any grudge against your father, you know what? Let it go. Honor them. Honor means show them respect. You know, just let them feel special. And I know there are some irresponsible fathers out there. Pray for them. But today, make it count. Let me share some of these quotes with you before I wrap up. Of course, we go to laugh out of here. I've got something that will put a smile on your face. Stay with me, yeah? <laughs> all right, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers who are tuned in. And of course, all the young chaps who are celebrating their fathers. You know what? Let's make it count. Let your father feel special. All right, so where do we go from here? Let me actually start. Uh, uh, let's, let's go to Nathaniel Actor. Nathaniel Arthur, Citizen Arthur, is there a to <laughs> So some of these codes, of course, are uh, to celebrate your fathers and uh, to, to share some good points with fathers. It says, assurances are golden and promises are platinum. When you make them, honor them. Okay, let's just make sure you do that. Well, Kojo Yangsen, what's up, bro? Kojo <laughs> Yangsen, what's up, is there? Well, Kojo Yangsen says, never shut your child up. If they butt into your adult conversation, answer their questions honestly. If you didn't want them to participate, well, you should not have had that conversation in front of them. <laughs> And since they are listening to what you are saying anyway, you might as well let them speak so you can correct uh, any wrong conclusions they make. Okay, that's quite profound. DJ Black is here. DJ Black, Black, what's up, Mr. Black? <laughs> Mr. Black also shares uh, his code here and he says, Ah, as a daddy, you are not just the head of the family, but you are the glue that sticks the family together. Your love, care, and attention to the need of everyone is what will create an everlasting memory. There is nothing as lovely as these words. Daddy. Ah, daddy. Sammy Forsen, how are you doing, sir? Well, he says, being a parent is the best reason you will ever have to take care of yourself. God has placed a huge responsibility on you to raise them in his ways. Yes, well, let the Christocentric guy wrap it up uh, for today. And this is my code. I wrote, okay, that children are a heritage from God. Give them all the love and security you can till they are of age and you may just reap a good percentage of all you have sown. <laughs> What's yours? You can share yours with us as well. Okay, so I'm going to push this one in and then when I return, we're going to get to hear the answers for all the segments. The B2B the Bible Knowledge Quiz and of course, you're also going to celebrate some few people celebrating their birthdays around this time. Why not? Okay, so check this out. You, my father. I can't imagine life without you, and I still take you for granted. 
If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be on this planet. God must have planned it. He sent you down so you can lift me up. My guardian angel, there is no other man I can trust but you. You my father. You didn't walk. You ran. You didn't whisper. You yell lessons that stem from an experience you never want me to endure. Taught me. If you want something, go get it. Period. You, my father, trekked to the valley of the shadow of death of his own childhood. While facing evil, still kept his pearly whites, my father smiles good. But I've had to witness you dismantle your happiness just to see me smile. Came from Ghana to the States. You've been dream chasing mile to mile. You my father. Shouts out to the mothers who had to be fathers. Taught me how to treat family, friends, daughters and to always drink my water. <laughs> Due to certain circumstances, you had to clean house and play ball, pay bills, and stay strong. You, my father, remind me every day that I'm just a boy. And to be a man, I must follow you. Therefore, I can't imagine life without you. You, my father. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Right. All right, so hey, here we go. Celebrating the following people, of course, celebrating your birthdays in this season. Thank God for your life. This segment made possible by Cheesy Pizza to say your pizza your way. And I encourage you to go find them on especially on Instagram. Every day they have some giveaways. Okay, take advantage and enjoy all those wonderful uh, treats. Of course, every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, actually say buy and get one free. I want you to take advantage every Monday and Thursday. They have the Mac Cheesy Combo and they say, you know what? 49 CDs, you get uh, a small pizza size, you get a pack of fries and chicken, and then a bottle of Coke. Would you want to enjoy? Please do. And remember to also subscribe to our channel, Christocentric Station. Yes, we are on youtube once you get there subscribe click on the notification bell and get to enjoy remember this show runs monday through friday okay from uh 3 p.m to 6 p.m okay yes you're only enjoying the hour edition exclusive on your favorite tv channel but as it stands it's a it's a three hour show so you can join us online when you can and if you want us to do promotions for you want to sponsor the show you want an interview you know just hook up zero five 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 one three hundred three one seven zero five five one three zero zero three one seven. Well, shouts to you, Nanajwa Nani. Okay, Nanajwa. They will call you Nanajwa Kriku. This is Nanajwa Mensa Dakwa. Yes, Mrs. How are you doing? Well, thank God for the season of your birthday. Ido Githa Nanasamwa. Well, thank God for your life. Well, Yabua Edwin Tichi, the newsman here at Crystal Centric Station. Well, happy birthday to you, Mrs. Aisha Ofusue J. Happy birthday equally to you and the pastor josh lie lead pastor carrie center international happy birthday to you <laughs> right so family these are the wonderful people celebrating their birthdays today let me quickly as a matter of uh agency go into the segment where i'm now going to tell you who won what okay so how do we start it we're going to start with the segment which is uh beat the beat this was a beat i shared let's see if uh we, we have a winner already. This was it. Did you get it? Okay. The song is by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get it? That's Moses Bliss and the track is too faithful. Well, I hope you did get it. Remember, if you're getting anything, you're actually going to chill your father. <laughs> 
So let's quickly go through the questions as well. And then uh, we call it a wrap for today. Question number one, uh, I have the answer. Uh, the question reads, my name is Methuselah. My father was a faithful man who walked with God. My father holds a rare distinction in the Bible. He did not die. Instead, God took him away. Select from the following answers the name of my God-fearing father. Well, according to Genesis 5, 21, 24, the answer is C, Enoch. Did you get it? I hope you did. Question number two. Okay. Uh, and this is it. It says, the Bible says, says little about this man except that he was a good man. A good family man and provided guidance for his children and they grew to be servants of God. Well, he's Amram. That's B. Numbers 2659. Did you get it? I hope you did. And then the final question for today. I have the answer as well. And it reads... This righteous man stands out among fathers in the Bible as a man who clung to God in spite of all the wickedness all around him. He was humble and protective of his family and bravely carried out the task God assigned him. Well, his name is Noah. <laughs> That's D. Okay, well, let's see. Send your answers. Well, if you did, stand by rather. We'll let you know who is going to enjoy. Okay, so family time is up. I got to go. And I think I could throw in this quickly just to put a smile on your face. Proverbs 17, 22. Well, the scripture says, well, laughter is medicine. So let's quickly get that one. And then we will call it a wrap for today. Remember, you need to celebrate your father. Let your father feel the love this season, right? So what are you sharing, Fifi? Okay, I found it. This is it. Uh, it's fathers related kind of. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> well, I'm doing a special shout out to my father, Mr. Ebafos and Uncle Ebolo of Teshinungwa Estates. Well, yes, happy Father's Day to you. I found a file. What is the difference between your dad and your father? My father, yeah. he's the one who gives birth for me. I beg you, father. The one who gives birth for me. So if your father is me, this English is good for you. And my dad, somebody can look at this, is the fathers of my forefathers. What? Is the fathers, fathers, fathers of my forefathers. Hey! What is the difference between your dad and your father? My dad has breasts. You saw it? Breasts. Yes, and hips. And hips. Hey! Your father must have this. And my father have look, 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 look at this. does not have breasts and hips. Well, yeah. What is the difference between your mom and your mother? My mother mm -hmm. does not have shape. What? Does not have shape. Does not have anything. <laughs> Which of them is a man? Is it your mom or your mother? Here we go again. My, my mother. Eh? My mother. Chai. <laughs> <laughs> What is the difference between your dad and your father? My dad mm -hmm. take good care of my mother. My father take good care of us. What is the difference between your mom and your mother? My mom is my father. What? My mom uh -huh. is my father. If, you, you, if you, I'm your father and I'm disgraced myself in the public, is it okay for you? <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference between your dad and your father? My father mm -hmm. is somebody who takes care of me? What is the difference between your father and your dad? Look, 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 look at this. Mom. The difference is mom. Yes. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. Oh my gosh. In any case, I apologize. Okay. It's Father's Day. Let's celebrate the fathers. Thank you, mamas, for making it happen. Daddy D A D D Y. The first D is dutiful. You gotta be dutiful. That means you have to you have to be present and play your role. Do your dutiful work, right? Uh, the second letter is A, affectionate. Give your children TLC, tender love and care. Okay. Make sure they get it, even if you punish them. Show them love, right? Now, the next D is daring. Every father's got to be adventurous, okay? We have a generation of children who have too much energy. You, you know what? You, you got to be adventurous. The next D is you got to be a disciplinarian. You spread a rod, you spoil the child. Make sure you do that, right? Don't leave it. And sometimes discipline is also verbal. It's not only just 
Bolly. Uh -huh. And then the final letter is Y. That's uh, youthful. That's what I wrote here. You got to be able to catch up with your children. Youthful. All that they know, try and break the gap. You need to get some more knowledge, okay? And don't let them beat you to it. Otherwise, well, you know this generation, they know too much. Catch up. And so that's my breakdown for daddy. D-A-D-D-Y. Happy daddy's day. Happy father's day. Happy papa's day. To all the fathers out there, we celebrate you, we honor you, and we thank God for your life. Children, let's go ahead and celebrate. And remember, Bible says that when we do this, well, it's the first commandment with a promise. It shall be well with us. And we may live long on earth. My name is P.P. Folson, the Christian Century Guy. And I'm asking God's grace to see all of us through every life's race with an extra pace. No enemy can chase. Happy Father's Day to all of us. Let's go out with this. Let's do this. Cause if man no day, if poppy no day, then wait till we get. If man no day, if man no day, how we go as this. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to every man where they fight for their responsibility. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to every man where they do everything for the family. Who yeah. oh, say man no day? So who oh, say man no If man no day, if poppy no day, then wait till we day. If man no day, if man no day, me day you no go day. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to every man where they fight for their responsibility. Happy oh God, it is so you. wonderful. God Happy bless Father's you, Phoebe. You. God bless Happy you. Happy Father's Day to every man when they do everything for the family.